So I live on the uh, coast of the North Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. Um, and we have a terrible problem with the invasive um, Himalayan blackberry. Uh, we actually do have a wild blackberry that grows in the area that has been um, taken over in most places by the uh, very aggressive Himalayan blackberry. Like Washington State, Western Oregon is currently experiencing an aggressive invasion of non-native blackberries. These blackberries, known as the Himalayan and the European or cutleaf species, are spreading at an alarming rate. According to Emily Steele, an ecologist with the city of Eugene, having a range of wildflowers, including blackberries, is crucial. Having diversity in our wildflowers means that we have different kinds of pollen and nectar for things like pollinators, bees, butterflies, all kinds of invertebrates. The more diversity we have in our insect life, actually the better bird food we have. And so then we have better bird populations that can exist. And really the native blackberry is just part of the local ecosystem and it, it's an element. The problematic berries have a different agenda. The two kind of heavy hitter non-natives, the Armenian or Himalayan blackberry and the European blackberry, their environmental impact is to essentially kind of take over and completely replace the vegetation that was there. And when that happens, they crowd everything out and they become the only plant available. The first step in stopping this takeover is identification. Both invasive species have groupings of five leaves and in the summer display white or pink flowers. Native species, which do not pose an environmental threat, have three leaves. Patrick Wagner, the trails and habitat steward at Mount Pisgah Arboretum, faces off with the blackberries constantly. I interact with the blackberries daily, whether it is uh, just walking through the arboretum, because they're everywhere. They're very prolific here in the Willamette Valley. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, it's probably, you know, pull out the ones that are coming into the trails and all that to keep the trails clear. And then we work on specific uh, areas, more high impact or more areas of concern that we will attack the blackberries more often. And that's more of a weekly to bi-weekly uh, project. Since the manpower to confront these berries is stretched thin in Western Oregon, Wagner has enlisted help from man's best friend. So my dog Nelly, she um, is 10 months and we have been working on teaching her how to pull blackberries out of the ground, rooting them up herself. And it's been a, it's been a process learning. She is taking some uh, workplace injuries with thorns in her mouth and then some other ones that put her down for a little bit. While Nellie is recovering from her berry uprooting duties, there are steps Oregonians can take to slow the spread. First and foremost, do not plant them in your backyard. And if you do, make sure to keep them contained. You can also volunteer at a local nature area to remove them. One of the biggest setbacks in this fight so far is the lack of people on the ground uprooting the invasive species. The third way to assist is to learn how to identify native versus non-native blackberries and how to remove the non-native plants so you can educate others. Some Oregonians like Teddy Francia and Jay Buckley have already taken steps to educate themselves about the blackberry issue. I know that the blackberries that we have here are not native to here and that they're called Himalayan blackberries. I know they produce really nice fruit and that's kind of why they're everywhere them all the time um, and then all the animals do too and that just they spread and yeah yeah and they suck to deal with you know, as you look at these hills and actually all the hills all the regional trails, trails um, they're they're taking over uh, crowding out natural plants uh, they're they're fire hazard for one thing because they're so brittle the cons of these invasive species span across so many aspects of western oregon life they choke up waterways, outcompete native plants, overtop trees, and lessen the land we are able to utilize agriculturally. Oregonians are known for their love of nature. Now is the time for us to protect it. If you are just beginning to see this species in the area, it would be well advised to do what you can to uh, eradicate it as soon as possible. 
once it takes over, it is almost entirely impossible to get rid of. Cutting back, using poisons, anything seems to be basically ineffective. It, it pushes its way through everything. So if you have it beginning here, don't let it get out of hand.